Back from the break, uh, Danny Woods tribute show, ladies and gentlemen. And with us on the line is Arnell Carmichael from the group Radio. Arnell, how are you? Hey, how you doing, Darren? And hi, well, hi yourself, Arnell. So, Arnell, how was Danny Woods an influence in your life, and how did all that become to be? My uncle would tell us about my father because we never really met him. And how Danny came into play was is that all of these people knew each other. So my uncle used to say, well, you guys, you got to be like the chairman of the board. <laughs> you know, and I think they had paid to the Piper and right, some other right, songs. Right. So these songs were, like, really big. And as we were growing as the Carmichael movement, he used to always talk about Danny Woods singing Oh Danny Boy. Right. So we, so we, as we grew from the 20 grand and on and on and met more people, he takes us to Henry's Cocktail Lounge. Now, at Henry's Lounge, all of the major acts at that time when the capacity of a 500-seater place was filled, uh, the chairman of the board, Temptations, Dramatics, uh, I could just go on and on, Spinners, you know, all these groups would perform at. Right. So one day he says, one day he says, okay, we're going to put you all on the cocktail hour. And mm. I said, okay, great, let's do it. And we were the opening act for the chairman of the board. Oh, wow. Because he, he wanted us to see Danny Woods sing Oh, Danny Boy. And when we saw this gentleman, I say that because I, I, I met him, I shook his hand, we talked, you know, but out of respect to him, it was probably one of the most amazing performances that a maybe 10 or 12 year old could see. Right. You know, and all of us were like, you know, we want to grow to be like this gentleman. You want to be as good as he was. I mean, he just had the audience just right in the palm of his hand. Um, my, my uncle was just amazed at the chairman of the board. And we learned from just opening for a lot of acts like that, that the route that you have to study and what you would become. Right. From the studying of it, and I do remember that so very clear. I can remember the bell-bottom pants. <laughs> they had on like a green shirt, green green suit with with like this yellow. I could see it all in my head, you know, uh, and how they stepped and how they performed right. the, the whole show. So my uncle and Danny Woods became friends, but uh, in terms of us being as young as we were, we just knew if we could sing like that, we would be okay. <laughs> Incredible. Well, you know. the energy that Danny had then, too. Now, I don't know about old Danny Boy, but the energy that he had with the chairman was was such a big thing. I mean, he was just just full of it. If you saw him sing that song, dude, believe me. <laughs> him singing old Danny Boy, the crowd was cheering by the time he got to the second verse. Mm, mm. You know, it was just, just something so amazing. And at the time, you know, we're talking now... Early 60s, right. uh, melodies were just developing. True. You know, uh, to me, I don't know how anybody else thinks of it, but this gentleman, uh, Danny Woods, as a singer, you know, you, when you don't have Motown back on you, but then you have Holland Dozier Holland, Holland right. which is the HD8, that's a whole different thing. Because the attention that you want to get and that you really need is just a matter of money. But, exactly. but in his case... He had he had the same equal talent as any of the other major acts that was out there, and they still went on to sell and create their own independence, and that's not easy to do. No, it's not. So, Arnell, let's give them the song right here. This is Radio. First song I ever sang on. This is our single from 1978. Arista picked this up, and here's the first single, Jack and Jill, from the group Radio. Myself and Jerry Nice singing. 